um, spin it all out. So there's our table. So that's from there to there. Now here's our new row. Well, we'll make it all on one row. There's a box. In that box is hello. Now there's a new box. And it says goodbye. This is just for aesthetic reasons, so you can tell what's going on. And now we ended that row. Now we're on a new row. Obviously, this doesn't have an effect on the web page. It's just to look basically like what we're doing, just to have an idea in our minds. So, all right, Kivrin, new box again. Um, I don't know. Helps you. End the row, and then end the table there. Let's view that. Hello, goodbye. Kivrin helps you. And obviously, if we want to make all the boxes the same. We're going to do this. I don't want to do it to the table rows, just the boxes. So table data width 150 will make it pixels. So now all the boxes should be the same width as you can see. Uh, almost. It will do it like this. We'll have to do it table row too. Ah, the table width 250. Now, there's a little trick. Make that bigger because that's preventing these table datas. So now there's two table data on each row, so they should add up to 300, therefore making it mm, really perfect. There we go, that is perfect. But it's not quite a square, is it? We're going to have to make the height about double what it is now. Maybe even more. So just table, um, we're going to have to do it here. Height, there's an important one. We'll make it, it, no, it's not exactly the same as the width. The pixels are a bit differently measured. We'll try it. I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, the height measures more than the width. We want to make them squares, though. So we're going to take off a bit of the height. We'll make it 125. Let's see what that's like. And obviously, with these, it's a bit of trial and error, but I seem to have got that basically pretty much right. So there's our little table. Now, obviously, you can add as many rows, as many data, whatever you want, um, to the table, because it's infinite. But, um, there, that's basic table. Now, we want to make this table centered, so in body, we want to make everything centered. Text align center. You can't just write a line, you got to write text align. There it is. There's our, it's in the center. So now, what if I want to make this small borders in between all of them different colour. This is what I do. Table row, background colour, and also uh, t -da table data. So these little boxes we want the background colour to be white. But the these in the table, background colour, will make it a greyish colour. But a bit lighter than the other background. Let's view that. There it is. There's our background. Um, now, that's about... Uh, I'll also show you one more thing before we go. Image linking. Um, we'll just leave them in these boxes. I'll make a new row again. Table row. T table data. Image. This is how you make an image. IMG source. This is where we're getting the image from. Picture. Dot. PMP. Now, obviously, if it's in in different directory to where you're saving your web page, we'll have to make it differently. Uh, write the full URL. But if it's in the same folder, you won't have to. So we'll just call it what we called it there. Picture. Um, that would be my first web page. We'll just call it picture. Picture.bmp. Now you don't have to write <coughs> um, the full, like you don't have to end image tags because they automatically end. Let's just view that. There's a little picture, and as you can see, we've got a blank box. Now, if you had a different background color of the box, it would look tacky. So we just made it a white background on the picture so it matches the box. That looks like I've just drawn a little. Or you can make it the same size as the box. That would work. Um, now we're going to make that a link. 
So in the box next to it, we don't, you don't have to write, this is just instructions that I'm making. Um, click the picture of a man to, and I've got two spaces there, go to the next page. And end the row. Now obviously it doesn't do anything yet, I'm clicking it now, but let's make it a link. So to do link, you do A, anchor, href, this is where we're linking it, just like source, except on links you do href. Let's make it page 2.htm. And now we have to end the link. So basically that link is, that text is saying, basically anything between here and here is a link, and it links it to there page 2. Now, there is no page 2 yet, but I'll just show you. And there's, there's a little um, blue square around it, and that's the width and height of the image. We don't want that. We want there to be no border. So we're going to go image, that's the name of the tag, border, none. And there's our border column, but you can still click it. There's just no page. We haven't made a page too. So we're going to copy all this text. We're going to make a new text document. We're going to call it page 2. Now at the moment that's just a plain text document. We're going to open it. We're going to copy all that. Except we're going to make it page 1. Go to the previous page. And we're going to change this to... Um, you, I'll make it, you're on page three, and we're going to have to save this as page two dot htm, all files, remember, I'll close that. going to open index again. This is our home page. Click the picture of a man to go to the next page. OK. You're on page 2. Click the picture of a man to go to the previous page. OK. Oh, sorry. It's not page 1, is it? It's index. So we're going to have to change that. See. Even us greats mess up sometimes. You have to make an index. We all make little mistakes. So refresh that. And now we're back to index. So thank you for viewing my tutorial on CSS tables, image and image linking. Next time I'm going to teach you some things like marquee text, um, drop down boxes, text areas, and buttons. They're a good one. Little buttons to go to a different page. So, um, yeah, thanks. Remember to go to www.thegeekanswers.com.